welcome back to another episode of The Space. Happy Saturday. Today we're talking about internet anxiety and how to reclaim your peace of mind online. This is the specialist subject of broadcaster Naomi Shimada. She's the author of Mixed Feelings, the emotional impact of our digital habits. In a conversation with TEDx, she spoke about the upsides of internet insecurities. Our anxiety can act as a signpost to areas of our life we can lean into. Let's face it, we all experience anxiety online, sometimes. When feelings of anxiety come up, Pause and ask, why do I feel this way? This is the starting point, says Naomi. Step back and ask, what message is my anxiety sending me? Get curious about the moments you feel triggered. Is it work stuff? Friend stuff? Kid stuff? body stuff. Step two is to create some space. You can't learn from anxiety when you're in an anxious spiral. Think of social media as a substance like booze, says Naomi. If it was making you feel bad, would you keep using it? You don't need to go cold turkey. It's all a spectrum. How can you cut back? How can you support the side effects? Take the weekend off Instagram. Take social media off your phone. Balance your online time with meditation. Drink more water when you're scrolling. Step three is where it gets good. What clues are in your social media content? How can your anxiety act as a signpost to your happiness? So often we post about the things we're yearning for, says Naomi. Our content can be a projection of the things we want in our lives. We post about people we want better relationships with. We post about moments we want more of. We post about the person we want to be. What can we learn from what we're projecting? If you're proud of it, seek more of it. Before you go public, Stop and ask, is this something I could work on privately? We all feel internet anxiety sometimes. There are simple steps you can take. Reduce the substance. Look for balance. And follow the clues to a happier you. Space out.